Welcome to NBA Jam! Hi there everyone, this is Darkside 2K7 aka Sound Sky Caesar. And what you see on this screen is the legendary Steve Nash. Let me give you a rundown on this cat. Steve Nash is an eight time NBA All Star. He is a th he is third in NBA history with ten thousand three hundred thirty five assists. Steve led the two thousand three, two thousand four Dallas Mavericks in assists in free throw percentage. He was also one of the one of just 10 players in NBA history to win consecutive MVP awards and uh, he won it in 2005 and 2006. He was also born in South Africa but grew up in in the British Columbia and his success led to the pro profilation in basketball in Canada. And he was he was playing with legendary player Dirk Nowitzki but a few years down the road he became an MB he became the legendary Phoenix Suns uh, player. Now you're probably wondering why I'm why I'm bringing up that little history lesson. Well, turns out Steve Stephen A. Smith didn't did hit didn't learn didn't remember his history. Cause here's the thing, Steve Nas has be, has become the newest head coach for the Brooklyn Nets. Which is cool, which sounds cool on paper, because with Steve Nash, who won championship, who is a who is a championship, he can mold these players up. Plus, he has a heavy, plus he has a relationship with Kevin Durant. And you think you would think that'd be good news to, for an NBA player like him to come back out of retirement to coach these young cats, but for Stephen A, nope. And here it is. This news, is, this one I'm reading off of Outkick. I take these guys' chances over there. Stephen A. Smith blames Steve Nash hire on white privilege. Failed to cite history. Brooklyn Nets hire Steve Nash as head coach uh, today. Through thus ESPN had a conversation on race because of course they do. You know how left leaning media does. They don't talk about anything except race. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith quote is like, "There is no way around it. This is white privilege. This doesn't happen for a black man." Quite a statement. White privilege. He claims with no evidence. There's no proof that Nas got to skip, tr got to skip traditional coaching set because of the color of his skin. If one is to assure why, which is what Smith is doing, odds are it is because Nas is an all-time gr great basketball player and defender, and he's a and he's an assist wizard, and he's and he's an assist uh wizard. I mean, look, he averaged 8.5 assists per game. 8.5. You can't, you can't coach that. You cannot coach that. And oh, and oh, here it is. Um, he's also the best free throw shooter in NBA history with a 90, with a 90.4 percent. Again, you can't beat that. Nas, the former, the former part-time Warriors assistant, is also familiar with Kevin Durant, the Nets superstar. Furthermore, both Durant and fellow star Kyrie Irving signed off on the hire. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, two black basketball players, sign off on the hiring for Steve Nash. So where was the white privilege, though? Adding all, adding it all up, this is a logically high upside. It's a high, it's a logical high upside hire. Just not for Smith, who instead irresponsibly took a factless road and made it about race. I say factless because it's inaccurate. This wouldn't happen for a black man, Smith claimed. Nope, never. Nope, never. It never happened for Mark Jackson, Isaiah Thomas, Derek Fisher, or Magic Johnson. Did it? Yeah, uh, Mark Jackson, Isaiah Thomas, uh, Mark Jackson, and Derek Fisher, they become head coaches, head um, coaches in the, in basketball. Isaiah Thomas, he became a head coach. And Magic Johnson, he was... Uh, the president for the Los Angeles Lakers. It happens to a for, it happens to former white players and former black players. The common thread is not is not skin color. It is point guards who project who project to be good head coaches. That's a fact. Point guards point guards know to be good head head coaches. I mean, it's fucking basic science right there. This this is race baiting mis this is race baiting and misinformation spreading. 
That it is. There is racism in America, but when the media cites racism for a decision it doesn't like, it diminishes real concerning racial problems. That is also true. It's a disservice to the co- it's a disservice to to the cause Smith and others are said that they are they are fighting for. CNAS never benefited didn't benefit from from the privilege of his skin. That's a conspiracy theory. One that ESPN just promoted to to its top daily studio show. Honestly, this is so Honestly, this whole thing is so stupid. And and Stephen A, he should be fucking ashamed of himself to to go that to uh go this route. I mean, besides, Steve Nance is a point is a point guard. He's like one of the best point guards in NBA history. One of the legendary point guards in NBA history. And the fact that Stephen A. Smith went this fucking route because of because they have because ESPN want to fit a fucking narrative proves that proves that he is way way misinformed. And also he he is he is ignoring. That the history of Stephen Na- of Steve Nash, man, Air Canada for God, I mean, Air Canada for God's sakes. I mean, heck, what I did right in this video, I showed you his stats. He showed you his stats w- during his time with the Dallas Mavericks and and his time with the Phoenix Suns. Granted, if granted if 2K would get off their ass and manage to make a new update patch to add more players into this, we can see uh see some stats of what he what he was when he was with the Los Angeles Lakers with Co- with Kobe. God rest his soul. This whole shit, this whole fucking shit is nothing more than them pushing a stupid ass narrative, and this is one of many reasons why people are turning away from ESPN. They just see. ESPN has, well, I can't call it ESPN anymore. I call it MSA, MSESPN, because these guys are do, are nothing but regurgitating the same bullshit talking points that you hear from fucking news sites, fear from fucking news sites like CNN or MSNBC, all that other stuff. This see. And there's a very good reason why this is happening. It's happening because we're in 2020, and this is an Alexa year, and they have to bring up race about every fucking tiny thing. They're like they're worse than the fucking Democrats and the left. And I know I'm uh, left. They always want to preach about race, race this, race that, race this, race that, all that. You t- you take that shit away from them, they got nothing to speak of because that's the one thing that they're riding on. So Stephen A. Smith. Fuck you, sir. Fuck you. F- fuck you for trying to try to dismiss the, uh, Steve Nass's uh, uh, hiring because based on the color of his skin. You fucking racist. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing, you know, all this shit I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing racism, but it ain't coming for the whites. It's coming for the blacks. And I'm offended because I'm black too, and I, and throughout my life, I never I I judge a character I judge a person based on their character, not on the color of their skin. Some of these idiots right here, mo- and according to those idiots on Twitter, that's all they're doing is based on people on um, on people based on the color of their skin, not their character. That's not right. And what they're do- and besides, even if you even if the br- and besides, you're gonna wonder or the net. You you go on the net. This is a message. This is a question to Stephen A. Smith. I hope he hears me or watch this video. You want the net to forego getting a legendary point guard for someone, ba- ju- someone who has zero qualifications, but you know, but you know his skin is his skin is not white. That is the stupidest shit I ever heard. See, this is why I think we sh- we need to bring back meritocracy. Meritocracy, you know, hi- where people hire people based on fucking merit. Cause, I mean, hey, I'm not. A, I mean, hey, I got no problem with affirmative a- affirmative action and all that. But the, the but hiring somebody based on the color of their skin, but have 
zero qualifications whatsoever doesn't doesn't off doesn't always inspire success. And also, there were there were black people, there were many black former NBA players that be that went on to become head coaches and, G, and GMs. Not every fucking sport, ha, not every fucking sports franchise gonna have to have a minority hire just so you can say, oh well, this did do well because you know he has a minority hire. See, it's shit like this that makes people don't want to watch sports anymore. And and trust me, you really want to, and also Stephen A, you really want to go down this route? You know the NBA is taking in the fucking ratings. You know the, you know people are not watching your NBA. You know you people, you know people not watching ESPN and all that shit. And yet instead of you actually, care, you and your boss is actually caring about this shit. You decided to go this route and attack Stephen A, I mean Steve Nass. Just because, oh, you, just because he got hired to the Brooklyn Nets, a hire that both Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant sign off. But no, you want to push that, oh, he got hired because of white privilege. Man, fuck you. Fuck you, Stephen A. Smith. The only reason, if we're going to be honest, the only reason why you're still around on ESPN, because you got, you got it. Because you got him through affirmative action. But nobody wanna talk but nobody wants to talk about that because if they did, you wouldn't like that. Now would you? <sighs> Shit. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. I just have to get this out of the way because I feel like I feel like that's a that's a that's a bullshit, man. And I love Steve Nance too. Matter of fact, I'm about to matter of fact. Later on tonight, I'm gonna play a game. I'm gonna record it, and I'm gonna tr and I'm gonna level up this mo this motherfucker like a badass. And if Stephen A. Smith doesn't like it, fuck him. All right, fuck him. But as always, I would like to hear your uh, comments on this whole situation. So be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the little notification bell so you won't miss another ups. An update. Share it with your friends. Share it with your neighbors. Share it with your family. Share it with your significant other. Always make sure to practice social distancing. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your mouth, nose, and eyes. I mean, not in that order, but either order. I don't know. I mean, you know. You know just want, I just want y'all to be safe and everything. And I will see you next time. Until next time, this is Darkshot 2K7, aka Sonic Sky Caesar. Thank you for the, taking the time to watch my video, and may you have a wonderful and blessed day. See y'all later. But seriously though, fuck you, Stephen A. Smith. Fuck you.